The Islam of Hamza and Umar radiallahu anhuma. In the sixth year after prophethood, Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, the Prophet's uncle, embraced Islam. Hamza was known as the strongest of the Quraysh. Allah gave strength to the Prophet with him. Then Umar ibn Khattab accepted Islam by the virtue of the Prophet's supplication, and the believers gained strength and were safe from the Quraysh. Abu Talib's Mountain Path The harm directed to the Prophet from the Quraysh intensified. The Prophet and his family were confined to the mountain path of Abu Talib for three years. Abdullah ibn Abbas was even born there. The disbelievers had caused the Prophet ﷺ great harm during this time until the Prophet ﷺ came out of the confinement at the age of 49. The death of Abu Talib and Khadija. Anha. A few months later, the Prophet's uncle Abu Talib passed away at the age of 87. Then, shortly after this, Khadija, his wife, anha, passed away, and the harm of the disbelievers towards them intensified. Setting out for Ta'if. The Prophet ﷺ set out to Ta'if with Zayd ibn Haritha to call them to Allah. They stayed there a number of days. However, the people rejected the message and harmed the Prophet ﷺ, expelling him and stoning him until blood poured from his ankles. The Prophet ﷺ left them and headed back to Mecca, where he entered under the protection of Al Mut'im ibn Adi. Addas is Islam. On his journey back, وسلم, he met Addas, who was a Christian who believed in him and embraced Islam. Belief of the Jinn. He وسلم, also came across a group of jinn at a place called Nakhla. Seven of them from the people of Nasibin. They heard the Quran and embraced Islam. The night journey. He وسلم, was taken by night to Masjid al-Aqsa and then ascended with above the heavens to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah spoke directly to him and obligated upon him the five daily prayers. Presenting Islam to the tribes. The Prophet وسلم, remained in Mecca, calling the different tribes to Allah. He would present himself to them every season, seeking aid to propagate the message of Allah, and they would be rewarded with paradise in return. However, none of them accepted except the Ansar. Allah had saved this as an honor for the Ansar. The message had reached six of them in Mecca, and they answered the call of Allah and his messenger وسلم, and returned to Medina and call their people to Islam until Islam spread amongst them, so much so that there was no house except that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, was mentioned therein. The Ansar and the Pledge of Aqaba The First Pledge The following year, twelve men from the Ansar, five of them from the first six, came to Mecca and pledged allegiance to the Prophet وسلم, with the same terms that were upon the women as mentioned in Surah Al-Muntahina at Al-Aqaba in Mina, they then returned to Al-Madina. The second pledge of allegiance. The following year, 73 men and two women came, and amongst them were from the people that were there in the first pledge. They pledged allegiance to the Messenger of Allah وسلم, to protect him, just as they protect their women, children, and own lives. After this, the Prophet travelled to them in Medina with his companions and chose from them 12 chiefs. <laughs>